guys, 8 Bishop here. Today we're going to be talking about what's considered probably the strongest card in the game right now, uh, which is Nova here. When this card's destroyed, give cards plus 2 power. Uh, this card is so powerful, it's kind of warping the format of the game. You either run something that can counter this card, or you run this card, uh, or sometimes even both. Um, and don't get me wrong, you can win without it, um, against it, even if you aren't hard countering, because um, bad hands can happen, um, that kind of thing. But uh, for the most part, this card is incredibly powerful. So I'm going to give you an example of um, of a deck that I'm using it in. Uh, it's a little bit different than Trump's deck. Trump um, has already made a deck that um, is very popular and a lot of people use uh, that takes advantage of Nova. Uh, so the deck here I play is what I deemed Om Omnom. It uses a whole bunch of destru destruction effects and is also low uh, curve um, for like tempo plays and being able to empty out your hand, which is very similar to Trump's list, but a little bit different. Um, so I have here Squirrel Girl, which is going to add more 1-1s uh, more to your other locations. Uh, Angel, you get a pull him from your deck if he's not already in your hand um, or in play when you destroy stuff which is kind of the idea of the deck. Uh, Nightcrawler, because this is a good one-drop staple, it moves around, lets you uh, be really flexible because um, you can shift power pretty dramatically with him, plus occasionally you get like a location that um, he'll just win for you. There are locations you can't play people at or locations that kill things as soon as you play something there, but moving is different than playing, so he dodges those effects. Uh, there's also um, a location that like rewards you for moving things to it, it gives them extra stats. So uh, Nightcrawlers is a really, really strong um, one drop right now in the game because there's so many locations that uh, having a Nightcrawler can just give you a free win or at least make it really hard for your opponent to win. Uh, of course, Nova, which is what we were discussing, the ability to just boost all of your people. The idea is you want to destroy him as late as possible um, and boost as many units as possible. Uh, we have Bucky Barnes here, because Bucky uh, also does something when he's destroyed. He uh, turns into a six-power unit, which is uh, absolutely fantastic, because uh, something like Bucky allows you to still play stuff out to um, a third location, instead of saving a gap for Nova, which um, a lot of decks that aren't playing the full destroy package are just playing the Nova package. What they'll do is they'll play on two of their three locations, and then if they miss the Nova or they miss their activator then they're really far behind on the third location because they saved it for Nova. <clears throat> but with something like Bucky, you're able to um, play into that third location without risking um, losing it. Um, I'm playing Okoye. Um, she boosts everything in your deck by two power. Um, of note, this isn't strictly for, you know, destroy synergy. It's because uh, it's a unit I don't mind destroying, especially from destroying Girl with Carnage. Um, the plus two power is huge it's very similar to nova but it hits your deck instead of your battlefield um but the fact you can drop this as early as turn one if the location lets you it it can be very game warping itself i think this is uh one of the strongest two drops in the game um <clears throat> we have carnage which destroys all cards at its location and gives itself plus two power for each so that is going to be one of your activators for your nova um <clears throat> obviously very important card for the deck for that reason um of note, you can, you know, do things like setting up Bucky Barnes and Nova, and um, the order does matter as far as resolution goes. If Bucky was played before Nova was played, then uh, Winter Soldier will get the buff um, from Nova when they're both destroyed. If he was played after, he will not get the buff because Nova's buff will apply first. Um, <clears throat> we're playing Mr. Sinister. Uh, the biggest reason we're playing this card, actually, is because if we buff it with a Koye, then Mr. Sinister is uh, making two four fours instead of two two twos. Um, it generates units for us, which uh, means Nova's buff reaches further. Um, in a dream world, we get both of those things. We get a four four version of Sinister, and then we buff it with Nova. Uh, we're playing Strong Guy because nothing on our deck costs more than three, so we can very reliably empty out our hand. Um, and if your hand is empty, then this guy is a two drop that has nine power. Uh, Another very powerful uh, two-drop that you'll see in a lot of aggro decks in the game right now. 
Uh, we're playing Wolverine because if he's discarded or if he's destroyed, you get to play him at a random location. So he's another card that we can safely play even in a slot that we want Nova to be in because he will stay in play. He'll just randomly go somewhere, including the spot, uh, the spot that he just left. Uh, Sabretooth is very similar, except you do have to play him from your hand uh, the following turn. So he won't stay in play. Um, of note, that means you can't... <clears throat> um, you can't play around your Sabretooth if you're going to destroy him on turn six because he'll be in your hand, not in play. He also will miss your Nova buff, uh, regardless of the timing that you play him, because he'll be going back to your hand. Um, and so that is a factor to keep in mind. Uh, and then last but not, le not least, we have Deathlock. Uh, three drop, five power, very good stat line for it because it has a drawback that destroys your cards at your location. So our second active air for Nova in a dream world, you want to always hit your Nova, but there will be games where you don't. Uh, but your strong guy, uh, your tempo from Okoye, um, and then Bucky Barnes itself, if you're able to destroy, is a very powerful uh, swing. Um, so if you hit any activator at all, <clears throat> and then Nova or Bucky, um, you're pretty set with the destroy package. If you hit a Koya early, then you have a really just good tempo aggro deck. Um, there are rooms for changes in here. I'm not saying this deck is perfect in any way, but this deck performs pretty well. It does decent against uh, the destroy package matchups themselves, because a lot of the decks that are playing the Nova stuff, they're playing uh, the Dino package instead. Uh, the issue I have with the Dino package is <clears throat> while you can do cool things like duplicating Nova, which is what Trump does, um, you're also giving up the ability to play an aggro deck like an aggro deck. When you get the Dino package, you want your hand full of cards instead of empty of cards. Uh, it is a good backup win condition, but Strong Guy is a backup win condition that doesn't make you play the game differently. Um, don't get me wrong, though, the combo that Trump plays is incredible, and I'm going to go over it right now. Um, so, uh, Trump likes to play, uh, Devil Dinosaur, which, uh, gets power for every card in your hand, as well as, um, where are you? Moon Girl, which will duplicate your hand. And, um, not only can that enable your Devil Dinosaur, but the idea is, the reason that you play this, is Moon Girl can double your Nova, and then you can double Nova, destroy your Nova, and boost everything you have in play by four power, um, which is absolutely game-winning when it happens. Uh, the thing I don't like about it is that um, it makes your game plan a lot more awkward. Um, she'll always copy the cards in your hand from left to right, maximum hand size is seven. Um, so if you have a Nova that's like three or four over, and you have a bunch of stuff on the left of him that you can't play or don't want to play until after you've played Nova, then um, the Moon Girl combo gets a little bit clunkier. Um, like I said before, the Devil Sword itself is very powerful, but it makes you play the deck differently because you're playing all these low-cost cards. Um, I'm not going to lie, I'm actually not even positive that Trump's version plays the Dinosaur. It definitely plays the Moon Girl, but I know a lot of people are playing a version that plays Moon Girl and Dinosaur, and then they run whichever package is um, going to do the best for them. Um, of note, um, this is like at least a bucket two card, if not further on, which is why it's not seeing as much play right now, but, um, there are a few other cards that can synergize, uh, that aren't in the deck. So we have here Deadpool, which is when he's destroyed, you return to your hand and you double his power. So if you get that very early and have enough destroy enablers, that's great. Plus, um, if you do things like, uh, boost him with Nova or Okoye before he's destroyed, then those doubles are not much stronger, so I can see Deadpool being very powerful in a, in a full destroy package down the road. Uh, Venom is another great example. It destroys your cards at the location and adds their power to himself, so it's very similar to Carnage, except instead of giving himself a flat rate 2 power, he's actually going to care about the stat lines on units, so um, still a good enabler, though, um, and for the most part going to be very similar to Carnage. Um, if I were playing both in the deck, um, a Koye might get cut, but for the most part, uh, they would function pretty similar anyway, and it would be A-OK -okay to uh, run the Venom. And then um, there are a few cards that aren't great in the aggro version of the package, but I'll talk about them anyway. So uh, you're not going to run Zola because um, it's just doubling your stuff, and there are times where you could run it in, in the deck and it would work fine as a package card because you could like double a big Carnage. Um, but of note, that big carnage will eat um, 
the other locations it goes to. Um, so you have to be fairly confident that your large carnage um, can carry those locations as a one of because uh, the Zola isn't going to give you any stats and then the carnage is going to eat all the other units and get more stats. But if your carnage has like 10 power already and then you play the Zola, you're moving a 10 power carnage and then anything it eats is just adding to that power. So that could be a good win condition. So this one isn't completely out of the picture, but it has very specific combos it wants to do and a lot of the lower cost things aren't great. Using it as an enabler for Nova <coughs> isn't the best thing in the world because Nova would have to be the only other thing um, at the location to guarantee the Nova hit. And um, that's a pretty late play to be making that kind of thing happen. I don't think it's worth it. Uh, Galactus just isn't good uh, for the deck. Uh, you can build a deck around Galactus, I think. That would be fairly interesting. Um, it's just, if this is the only card at your location, all the other locations are destroyed. So you could build an interesting little deck that does things like uh, get Wolverine in play, um, um, get Nova out, and then um, use the Galactus boost your Galactus and your Wolverine and try to win a single location with Galactus and Wolverine. Um, but I think that's its own like unique control deck. I don't think that will fit into the combo list. Uh, the Destroyer destroys your other cards, this period. Uh, once again, don't really see it being uh, in this version of the deck, but you could build a like kind of control deck that wants to do things um, like destroy your Wolverine and your Bucky Barnes and that kind of thing. Um, Honestly, I don't think there's enough support for something like the Destroyer, because Galactus is a combo where you only have to win lo one location, but the Destroyer doesn't eliminate the risk of other locations. So uh, I think you need more units to do things when they die right now for the Destroyer to be really worth running. Uh, Death, though, I think could fit an aggro list. Um, we, we only need maybe one more enabler in the, the deck, uh, like a Venom. Um, and then Death can pretty consistently be a, a very powerful drop because she gets discounted for everything that was destroyed this game. Um, and of note, it's each card that was destroyed this game, period. So your Death deck could actually run things like Electra, which destroys your opponent's one costs, or Gambit, which discards a card from your hand but destroys a random enemy card um, as an enabler for her as well. Um, you could also just play a modified version of this list. Um, you can pretty reliably destroy two or three units at a time with your own units uh, and get her very discounted. And uh, 12 attack is actually pretty strong for a six drop anyway. Um, so if you get her to six or lower, she's already like functioning very well. <clears throat> so yeah, uh, that is kind of a rundown of Nova and the power of destruction in, um, in Marvel Snap. Uh, there are a little, there is a little bit of counterplay, like, you can put Electro into your decks and try to destroy him before your opponent sets up, but if they play, play well, they won't play Nova until they're going to destroy him. You also can try to predict where they're going to play, ar uh, play Nova and play Armor to it, which stops cards from being destroyed. Uh, a little bit clunkier because it takes so long to set up. You can try to use Professor X as a counter card as well. Um, either of those cards will shut down the combo, though Professor X can potentially give away a location anyways. Uh, depending on how you're playing the deck. <coughs> End of the day, though, um, Nova's a card to watch out for. It's super powerful. Um, I don't know what this game's future is going to look like for nerfs, uh, erratas, etc. But um, I anticipate that uh, Nova will either get nerfed or have a lot more counterplay cards introduced to the game because it is uh, honestly ridiculously powerful and um really the only way nova whiffs at this point is not being able to activate it by either not hitting nova or not hitting an activator um and the odds of that are fairly low so yeah um that is nova and kind of the destroy strategy uh one of the top decks in the game for sure not necessarily my version but someone's version out there is a top version and uh, it's something to watch out for to either build to play against or to um, counterplay with. I shouldn't have changed this. That was done speaking. Oh, well.